Building uh, a DSM is a team activity. You really need the whole team there. Uh, key to this is that, of course, you need the wisdom of the team, particularly those that have been around programs for a long time and know the subject matter very well. Uh, they alone will really understand uh, what's required to achieve key actions and therefore will know the inputs required and can check off the appropriate interactions on a matrix. They understand the budgets and the uh, staffing requirements that will be loaded into each node. Uh, and this is really important because uh, later on that will help you uh, do uh, what-if situations and uh, be able to very effectively manage rework and to build budgets. The budgets are built intrinsically in the program. Uh, it also uh, helps people uh, understand just how dangerous the assumptions are. So that can be written up and say, well, we really don't know much about this. It's a fair way out. Um, and therefore, the team can put together uh, an assumption validation plan. We don't know how to make a 900 kg body. We just don't have a clue at this stage. Carbon fiber works, but it's fantastically expensive and it's way outside our budget. So we have to come up with something different and better. And there's a real need for a little sub innovation task there to validate that a body can be built for 900 inside the budget that uh, we uh, have at hand. That's the uh, example of, say, having an assumption validation plan. And we've got the risks ranked from, uh, say, the 800-pound uh, uh, gorilla, the 900kg uh, body that we may or may not be able to do, down to minor stuff that's close into the axis, and we're not really all that concerned about it anyway. The other uh, activity, of course, in having the team all together, the advantage of this activity is simply that the team authored and owns the plan. They have an intimate understanding of why everything is the way it is. Uh, they've gone through sorting out the issues between themselves, management, budgets, etc. And of course then are in a position to understand and execute the plan very, very well. We tend to execute plans well that we understand and own. Uh, we look kind of silly either way. We either failed or we failed to plan and uh, that's not a good place to be in anyway. So, uh, you get much better execution.